If you're looking for Madden Ultimate Team coins to get the players that I'm reviewing, check the link in the description for cheap and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins. Yo, what's going to family and welcome back to another video. How you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing great. And today, bring you guys a player review of 93 overall, halfback, Kadeem Carey. You guys requested it. And here it is, Campus Hero Edition, Kadeem Carey. Let's check out the back of this one. This guy's 5'9", 92 speed, 91 agility, 95 acceleration, 98 carry, 97 ball carriage vision, 86 elusive, 96 truck, and 80 juke move. Campus Hero, Kadeem Carey. Let's check out some attributes. Some attributes standing to me that this guy has 98 carry, 97 stamina, 92 spin move, and 97 ball carrying vision, and 96 truck move. Decent looking card. I mean, of course, this card will not be your number one. He will probably be your number two. And in my opinion, as we compare it to other cards, he doesn't have that speed, but he has really good trucking. He is a short running back with five for nine. He's pretty short in my opinion with decent strength. He does have 75 strength, but like I said, he won't be your number one. He will probably be your number two. And like I said, he's not that fast, but he has decent carry and decent truck. The 98 carry was okay for me. He did fumble. Uh, one time out of like seven or six games, but how do I feel about this guy on the field? Like I said, that 92 speed isn't fast, but he does when he's out in the open. He generally doesn't get caught from behind. I don't know what it is. That 92 speed, maybe it's that acceleration and agility, but he didn't get caught from behind. For example, a play like here and another play where I had a huge run. Nobody caught him from behind, so I was kind of weird about that, even though his speed is pretty low. Uh, his trucking is okay. I really enjoy this trucking. I mean, he's not the strongest with 75 strength to back up that 96 truck. So don't expect him to truck everybody, but it isn't consistent. He does truck people on his own, but if you're really good with the truck stick, the juke moves and things like that, you're going to break a lot of tackles. Like I said, a 75 strength is really dreadful for 96 truck and you need something stronger with a good truck move. He's decent with the catching. 83 catching. I didn't have any drop balls as you guys can see with people surrounding him. He still was able to keep the ball in his hand and didn't drop it. So I really enjoy that about this car. But like I said, it's weird how his speed is just burst of speed and nobody could get, catch up to him as you guys see night train lane couldn't even catch up to him it's weird i always had him on the field with 97 stamina which is decent but you guys know how i feel about stamina it's broken but he was always on the field for me even on fourth downs i was able to utilize him so it's kind of weird this card is kind of glitchy in my opinion he's not the best card like i said he will be on the bar uh, running back number two his pass blocking is horrible do not pass block i got sacked so many times with this guy in the backfield trying to pass block for me but it was a decent car. Like I said, he will be a running back number two. I would definitely keep him. He's going to be on my team as my running back number two. I really enjoyed that about this card. He broke tackles for me. Not the strongest, like I said before, but it is a really solid card. If I had to give it a review, honestly, I have to give it an 8 out of 10. As for running back number two, running back number one, do not use him as running back number one unless you're really broke. He does go for 15,000 coins and 17,000 coins on the Xbox One. Decent card. Running back number two, definitely using that running back number two, not running back number one. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.